Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty good day. In this edition, I'm going to be exploring something new. An open range light 275 RLS. This is a very nice uh, upscale travel trailer that apparently can sleep eight folks. Its unloaded vehicle weight is 7,210 pounds. Its cargo carrying capacity is 1,000. 785 pounds has two awnings one uh, is an 11 and a half footer and another one is 10 feet long it's fresh water capacity 51 gallons i saw this unit at explore usa rv super center in fort worth texas they got locations all over the place and they carry all kinds of uh, travel trailers towables at their various locations up front you get a power tongue jack Two 30-pound propane tanks and an area there for your uh, battery. Let me open this up. Inside the pass-through storage, you got some uh, goodies. And you can see it's uh, very nicely off there. I just turned that around just because I could. And uh, I hope the folks at Explore USA don't get mad at me for doing that. So you have power stabilizer jacks on this unit. And of course, right there is the water heater. There's the exhaust for the uh, heater. And right down there are the wastewater holding tanks, the black and the gray. And one extra one right there, I think that's for the fresh water dump in case you're going to do some winterizing. There are some uh, budget Chinese tires on this unit, but they're okay from what I understand. They're good for about 2,000 miles or so. Let's go check out where you do your hookups. There's the docking station. And of course to the right is where you uh, connect your 50 amp cable because this unit has two, count them, two air conditioners. So they have the satellite and cable connections right there your city water connection, your fresh water, so you can fill your tanks and your tank flush. It's all there and I can read as you can very well tell. And again there's that 50 amp connection. Just for your information, once in a while I do make a mistake. I try not to, so I would recommend contacting the manufacturer or a local RV dealership uh, and ask them questions and compare them to what I've said and make sure everything's a-okay and it meets your super high quality standards. That's apparently where you can put a grill or some other cooking device. That's right there connected to the bumper. There's your alternating current. You need a uh, short power to get that thing working or a decent size uh, generator. Let me back up and show you this unit. The next thing this uh, nearly 70 year old dude is going to do is go on the roof and show you the air conditioning units. Of course you get two of them in this fantastic Highland Ridge open range light 275 RLS. And of course you have an area there where you can put your backup camera or an observation camera. Let's go take a peek and see what's behind these two doors here. They have slam latches which is a definite upgrade. You have some plugs and receptacles. Apparently this area you can put a TV if you like watching TV in the great American outdoors while everybody else is uh, trying to sleep. You can put on your TV and make all kinds of racket and bug everybody. That's nice of you. Thank you very much. Now let's open door number two. And right behind door number two is the uh, outdoor kitchen. It has the R Vision uh, refrigerator. Not your vision, not my vision, it's our vision. Yes, it's our vision. And there's a little drawer, very nicely constructed, plywood box, uh, all metal glides, solid wood door front. This is a nice metal table. Let me pull this out. First, I gotta unhitch it. And you got a two burner cooktop. That's perfect for cooking outside, outdoors. I can see myself cooking some breakfast there, lunch or dinner. Let me lock it up. If I remember correctly, they have the connection for this and all you need is a basin. You can make yourself a little sink there and uh, do some serious outdoor cooking. I couldn't open this up. Uh, to the right of that, of course, is some 
uh, alternating current, and some other connections. This is not the Moride uh, step above. These are the solid steps by Lippert. They're pretty much competing in the marketplace for these uh, very nice steps that reduce the amount of jounce and bounce and problems that you may have. And of course, this unit is Keto-like. And this is the uh, 275RLS. And let me pan up and show you. This one has a three-year limited, and again, emphasis on the word limited, structural warranty. Let's go check out the pass-through storage on this side. Magnetic latches, that's appreciated. And that's where you can connect uh, Furion or another brand if you can modify it. Uh, solar charging kit. Uh, you know, you can always modify units if you're good at electricity. I don't want you uh, killing yourself. So there's some of the accessories in this pass through storage, a little light on the right side. Again, don't mess with electricity unless you know what you're doing because uh, it's dangerous. Just noting the obvious. <laughs> and here's a shot of the front. I'm backing up a little bit and you can see this unit. What do you think of this unit? Again, this is the Highland Ridge Open Range Light 275RLS. And I saw it at Explore USA RV Super Center. You probably can find it at one of your dealerships in your neck of the woods. Let's go inside. I do have all the lights on. Let's do a quick walk around. There's the island. To the right is a little buffet and some storage area and, and the controls. Nice dining room table. Twin uh, recliners and a little sofa over there. As I continue my walk around, there's a TV in the uh, fireplace. Yes, it is much lighter on that side with a lighter woods. They reflect the light. It's simple physics. <laughs> Dark woods tend to absorb light. Uh, white and bright colors reflect light and make things look a little bit more airy and light. I do love these recliners. I love them a lot. Let me sit down and do a little test. Let me check out this little sofa here. It's very comfortable. I like it. It has some receptacles there and some storage over here. It always gets caught on that little edge of the carpet. I do not like that. I want everything perfect. Not so great blinds. A little area for your beverage, your little dinner table, or just uh, hang out. Let me check out the uh, recliners. I'm, I'm a big fan of recliners. It fits me. Again, I'm 5'10", uh, 175 pounds. I'm not a big, big, big boy. I'm just a regular size guy, and there's some receptacles inside there, and you can control the actuate things and you can manually make it into a recliner and yes this is the perfect tv watching position i'm a happy man i can sit here for hours uh, watching the news watching a movie just hanging out uh, you know checking out the boob tube again there's the pleated blinds i'm not a big fan of pleated blinds this is where they save money nice window valances though i would prefer the day night shades but that costs them a little bit of a cash and they don't want to spend the money they want to uh you know meet a certain price point i understand i mean it caught again like i showed you that doesn't open up some units these uh you know these side tables open up and you can put some stuff in there let me put that back again these were very comfortable and they look pretty substantially uh, built they should last a while these lights go on and off Yes, I have skills. I like the contemporary design of the furniture. It isn't uh, overtly ostentatious or uh, too country. Uh, I like it. What do you think? There's a Furion soundbar in the TV. Some storage up above. Let me open it up and show you. Plenty of uh, storage that goes from left all the way to the right. Nice little supports. Again, solid wood door fronts, uh, metal handles, and they make a nice little sound when you slam them. There's the island. 
Let's go check out the kitchen. This is where you can put your uh, post toasties, your Wheaties, your Cocoa Puffs, your canned products, your Campbell soup, Progresso soup. You know, all kinds of great stuff. Your noodles. Has a little light. It's not motion activated. It should have been motion activated. That would have been nice, huh? When you open it up, it automatically goes on, but they didn't want you to do that. They wanted you to manually go in there and turn it on. Solid surface countertops. Wow, they look pretty sharp, huh? Nice uh, backsplash. The stovetop has a bifold cover that also uh, doubles as uh, extra prep space. Nice, very nice cast iron grate. It's a three burner stove by Furion. Let me go on the other side because uh, it's a little tight back there. If you're a big guy, a big girl, maybe this might be too tight for you. There's a small little oven, not a gigantic oven, a regular size oven. And this is a nice drawer that they give you as part of their deal. A pots and pans drawer, I would think. Let me close it up. Up top, they got another uh, brand of a uh, generic Chinese uh, microwave. They just put another label on and call it good. So that's a good size microwave. It has a turntable. You're going to have to put that turntable away when you're going down the road unless you wanted to smash your microwave. <laughs> Some storage right there. What do you think of the paint job? I like that paint job. It's pretty awesome. Next up is the uh, DC refrigerator. Wow, I love it. I love DC refrigerators. What do you think? And it was not even noted on their website. They still said that they only had AC propane refrigerators. They didn't say they had DC. This is a wonderful, wonderful change. That's the freezer section. Down here is the refrigerator section. Uh, just for your information, when you use the same space for a DC fridge, you get more space. You may ask, why does a DC fridge have more space than those AC propane? Because they don't have that, uh, those coils in the back for the ammonia to go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Again, solid surface countertops. Very nice. Let me see if I can squeeze myself. Again, I'm uh, 5'10", 175. Uh, I had to squeeze through these little spaces. Again, I would recommend you go inside one of these units, see if you can fit and uh, if it's appropriately sized for your dimensions. Some of you are bigger than me. That may be a shock. Some of you are bigger than me. And uh, again, all this bottom storage here just goes from one side all the way to the other side. They have various doors and uh, levels, but uh, the bottom level pretty much goes all the way across. Let me open that up. And again, you can see, again, this is dark. It's very dark in there. Let me close that up. Daddy likes these solid surface countertops. Nice little cover there. Of course, this is a farm style sink. Stainless steel, and I like that uh, faucet. Very nice, very elegant, very upscale looking. But what do you think? Don't forget to leave your kind and super friendly comments below the description. Tell me what you think about this unit. Do you think it's nice? And there's the AC unit. And you get two of them in this unit. Anything over 28 feet, uh, I would think, uh, deserves an AC unit, an air conditioner, two air conditioners. There's your controls. And apparently they have an app that you can control this uh, panel with. There's a controls for each air conditioner, not just uh, you can just punch in A or B. This has two separate controls. What's behind there? You can hide something. Just unscrew it and hide it behind there. Be sneaky, okay? Again, what do you think of this white finish? I like it. I like the glass doors also. The glass panels in the doors. Plenty of storage in this unit. And there's an alternating current receptacle. There's the controls for the two air conditioners. And you get six drawers right there. And of course, a circuit breaker to the bottom right. Full extension drawers, plywood box construction. This is nice plywood, not some cheap plywood. Uh, nice roller bearing uh, glides, uh, solid wood door front, painted in white. Nice little dark handles. No soft clothes though. 
That's some serious plywood. Some manufacturers put some cheapo, cheapo plywood. This is nice plywood. I know. I see these harpies all the time. And I know when I see something fantastic. Let's go into the bedroom. Ay, yeah, yeah. This looks like a mess. We gotta fire the maid. The housekeeper. They did not uh, take care of business. I'm very disappointed. In my household, my wife and I share all the uh, household duties. And uh, I do make up my own bed once in a while. I'm pretty good at it. I'm not terrible. So you have two layers of uh, end tables. It's a great area to put your jackets, your shirts. Whatever you want. You can put some boxes in there too if you want. It's all up to you. Up here you have some storage. It goes all the way from one side to the other. And it's pretty deep. It's a good foot deep. And you get the same thing on the other side. You get receptacles on both sides. Very nice. Could have used a little bit of a headboard, but that, you know, you can always uh, put something up if you're handy. Some of us are more handy than others. I'm not very handy. I'd probably just leave it the way it is. Wow, you can put a washer and dryer in this unit so you have the plumbing, or you can just make it a closet and just put some storage in here. It's all up to you. Again, what would you use this area for as a closet? Storage. Or would you put a washer and dryer there? Here's a shot of the valances and those uh, horrible pleated uh, accordion style <laughs> uh, window coverings. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Ay, ay, ay. Now we're going to go in a room that's a little bit brighter. Let me close that door. I don't want to break anything. I want to make sure it opens and doesn't bash anything. Sometimes they build these things and it bashes one thing bashes into another thing. you got to be very careful. So it's a lot brighter in the bathroom, the restroom area. you got two areas there, two uh, mirrors. Stainless steel sink and dark, uh, sort of like an oil rub uh, bronze looking uh, faucet. A ceramic toilet. This is a good size uh, shower, nice uh, shower wand and of course a generous little skylight that brightens up this area. With all the white and it's reflecting light everywhere and it's very bright in here. There's your one of your vents and a puny little fan that you can always replace uh, with a Max Air or a fantastic fan or some other brand of fan and just uh, put it up there if you're handy. <laughs> some of us are handier than others like I said earlier. This is your medicine cabinet. Plenty of room in there for uh, a couple on the move. Receptacles and of course a light switch. The countertops are a thermofoil, they're not uh, solid surface. Nice drawers again, again, nicely plywood boxed. My wife would fill this uh, rather large drawer with uh, washcloths. Uh, so, you know, I go through them pretty good. So that's a perfect spot to put your uh, chemicals for the black tank to make sure they're sequestered appropriately. Nice handles. I really like them. So let me turn around and show you the toilet again. This is a porcelain foot flush toilet. Don't forget to support this channel today by going to my Patreon page. It's at patreon.com slash jmmgarza. Thank you very much ahead of time. I greatly appreciate it. And you can pause this uh, part of the video to look at some of the specs, the tire dimensions, etc., uh, etc., et the different weights. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Yes, please. Thank you very much. And please leave your kind and super duper friendly comments below the description. I always appreciate those, and I try to respond in a timely manner to the best of my ability. This has been the Highland Ridge Open Range Light 275 RLS, a very nice uh, travel trailer indeed. If you have any questions, uh, contact your local dealership or the folks at Explore USA. This has been Asus Manuel Menagarza. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you are. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.